with these areas of suffering, no matter how big or, or, or how small they are from the past, they're not from the present moment. They might be the nerve system holding a memory of an experience in the present moment, but they're from the past, meaning what they are also asking for is all the time and all the space to be able to unfold within the space of our own relaxation, within the space of our consciousness, where there is a warmth and a heart, where there is care, where we will are able to meet it as it is from one moment to the next in the here and the now. Also, a lot of the areas of stress are not are linked from the past and looking towards the future. So it's the terrible thing that did happen, maybe to our great-grandmothers, who knows? Or maybe to us, must not happen again in the future. And so the stress is preventing this. It's, connect, it's so much caught in time. And so again, this energy of relaxation that says there is all the time, and time is not a thing. Time is a way we stop everything from happening all at once. It's actually in our favor if we're looking at stress, not against us. Meaning there is all the time, step by step, one foot after the other, one feeling, maybe a sad one or a painful one, and then another feeling, a joyful one. And then another feeling, a longing, and then another feeling, a grieving. There is all the time and space for our humanness, for the dimension that it lives in time. And there is no need to overcharge it with a stress from the environment as if it would create a catastrophe if we let ourselves feel what we've anyway been feeling for as long as we can remember. 